what happens when you got people on your team who aren't black swan trained? Well, when you tell them this is how the negotiation, this is how the dialogue, this is how the conversation is going to unfold, that's probably going to be news that they're not going to want to hear because they've been trained by another negotiations company and or or they've been trained at another university that looks at negotiations in a different manner than the Black Swan group does. So you telling them this is how the negotiation is going to go is going to be news that they're not going to want to hear. So before you share that with them, you set it up with an accusations audit where you're going to tell them, I know you probably think that I'm being a know-it-all. You probably think that I don't have a lot of experience, as much experience as you do in this area. You may think that some of the ways that you have been instructed to conduct the dialogue is superior to what I'm going to do. You may think that I'm trying to impose my will, and you probably think that I'm trying to showboat for the executives. And you let it sit. And you ask them, what's your vision on how this dialogue is going to be conducted? Are you against sharing that with me? And get them to verbalize. Here's what I was thinking. Here's what I had in mind. You label mirror, paraphrase those positive things, those things that support where you want the conversation to go, that support your position. And then to reinforce them, of course. And then no oriented question. Are you against me sharing with you what our vision is, what my vision is? And then you lay out exactly. This is how we're going to do it. Brandon's going to be the primary. His job is going to be X, Y, and Z. He will carry the message. He is the sole mouthpiece for the conversation. Isaac is going to be the coach. He's going to support Brandon. Shelly is going to be the team leader. This is her responsibility. Joanne is going to be the scribe. This is her responsibility. Frank is going to work the situation board. This is his responsibility. What about that doesn't work for you? Hash it out. But at the end of the day, you're going to draw your line in the sand as to how you guys are going to execute as a team. But just like you would in any other negotiation, you got to lay the groundwork first and then put out your mandate or your, your, your dictate as to how the execution is going to occur.